Hi, hey guys, Untame here, and um, welcome to another episode of HDF 101. Um, obviously, I'm on PvP lounge right now. It's EU times right now, and everyone's at school, so there's not a lot of people on. But anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about today was hockeying and like aggro perling, whatever, whatever you want to do. Like, it's more more just pot management than anything. But you'd be surprised how many people still scroll pot, and like, if you scroll you're more or less never going to get over 900 elo unless you've got impeccable aim like you need to have good pot management to be good at HCF and I've got I think of myself as having pretty good pot management I've been able to I've been hot keying for a very long time however I don't have the best aim which is why I don't get over like 1200 elo or whatever but anyway so basically I want to show you guys there's like three I guess three different ways that you can hotkey there's obviously having a mouse like the uh, uh, Razor Naga, Razor Naga V2, uh, Razor Naga Hex I mean or what I'm going to have soon which is the Corsair Scrimtar which I'll leave links to down below so that's the easiest way to get good at hotkeying because you'll just have buttons on the side of your mouse which it just takes a little time to get used to, get used to your having, you having muscle memory there and you'll get used to hotkey in that way and you'll have more or less perfect pot management but for people that don't have that you have to do stuff I'd say the best thing to do, I've got a death adder so I do actually have two buttons on the side of my mouse um, some people have, uh, I've also got a Corsair K65 RGB so I don't have any um, like macro keys on this it's just like a, it's it's a tournament edition keyboard so I don't have any like extra buttons on my keyboard which some people do if you've got like I think a death like, I think the death stalker has some but either way you can set it to those buttons but for people that just have a normal keyboard you want to have something like this so I've got um, my hotbar slot one for my sword which obviously you can just press one it's not exactly it's not a struggle to press one on your keyboard and then obviously two is an easy button to press but that's my pearls and if you want to get good at like aggro purling or clutch purling if you fall into a trap or something then having it set to like the comfiest button on your mouse is the best option because that way your thumb is almost always resting on it and if you ever need to purl really fast you can just simply straight away press it and then I've got X for my food because it's it's probably my hardest button to press and I don't press it often because I only press it when I need to eat and then I've got so number two is my first pot slot so like that's my number four hot, key, uh, hot bar slot which is where my first pot is three is where my second pot is four is where my third pot is so obviously two through f two through five are probably the easiest five I don't really like pressing five so I changed that to L left control which is directly underneath shift and to the left of your windows key which is where my pinky is always resting so it's a very easy pot to press and then I've got F as my um, seventh pot, and then I've got number nine as my eighth pot, which as my eighth pot as my seventh pot and sixth pot. Sorry, number eight. I have number eight, which is my second button on my death adder. Uh, FY seven is my first button on my death adder. I just I'm just weird. Get over it. Um, and then obviously number eight is the second button on my death adder which I used to have a speed pot in there at all times but now I've sort of got used to having um, having a help pot there but anyway I'll sort of show you how being able to um, throw these pots is the best way so the only times I'll ever really scroll is when I'm like we're changing from like a health pot to a to a fire res or whatever obviously once you're really good at hotkeying you'll be able to actually you can hotkey pots onto your hotbar um, but you only ever will really want to do that if you've got like crap on your hotbar already. See, I just got shit on there for some reason. I thought I was yeah, it was on 0.4. But anyway, so that's the best way to hotkey. I hope it has helped some people. I know a lot of people like um, Haslar used to actually. You probably know Haslar if you know who I am. Um, he used to scroll really badly and he eventually learned how to I like I told him that what he needed to do and he eventually learned how to hotkey 
and now and like he instantly became insane at PvP because he used to have terrible pop management. Like I used to be able to beat him with like three to four, all, almost up to like a row of pots, and then now he beats me with like one or two. So pot management really does make a difference, especially in one v ones. It doesn't more so make. A difference in team fights as long as you don't you're not splashing the other team you just want to make sure you're turning out of the group and team fights and splashing yourself but anyway that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed leave a like and uh, comment uh, suggestions for what you think I should also cover in these episodes there's not a lot a lot more to cover but I might expand it onto like doing uh, showcasing and showing how to build other like different traps and stuff I'm not too sure yet but anyway so leave a like subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.